Om Shanti. Are you all very happy? Uh, 6th October 2017, Murli. Baba says, um, just as a Laukic father after um, coming from a foreign land, he'll be uh, bringing many gifts, right? Similarly, our father from the supreme world, the Parandam, he comes here after 5,000 years. So he will definitely bring something very important, very uh, pleasure giving and that is heaven. So he doesn't come empty handed. And Baba says, what I teach is the blessing. So that is how God blesses us through his teaching, through this knowledge. Because it is only through this knowledge man becomes Narayan. And uh, children, especially women, they, they sing that they cannot tolerate the pain of Kali the Iron Age. So they want God to come so that they can become the garland around his neck. Because so far they have been the garland around uh, the vicious husband. So now they are pretty sure that God has come. And that is why they say they will become the garland around God's neck. Uh, while taking promise either in court or during government function, they take Gita in their hands and made this vote. Uh, they think God is present before them. But truly, God is present only before Brahma Kumaris and teaching this knowledge. And because of this, they build big temples like Swaminath Temple. Um, but nobody knows, they, they even celebrate birthday of Shiva, Shivratri. But still, they do not know when did he come and what did he do when he came? They do not know anything about it. So what he does is he is giving this knowledge and making us into Narayan. So that's the reason he is being worshipped. But unfortunately, the, uh, the Gita, which represents God's knowledge, is wrongly return as uh, Krishna as God. So they, they have no clue what God Shiva did. Because they put Krishna's name instead of Shiva's name. The difference between God and all others is God is incorporeal. He doesn't have the physical body and he is knowledgeful and blissful um, so it is through this raj yoga knowledge he makes us into king of kings krishna cannot teach you that knowledge because he himself has taken this knowledge and has become king of kings in the sun dynasty but it is not only for one Krishna or one Lakshmi. It's a kingdom. You were in that kingdom along with Krishna. But Maya snatched away the kingdom now. So Baba is giving you back that kingdom through this knowledge. <coughs> and this 
heaven or paradise it's such a pleasant and big gift that you have to become very happy on this people even uh, had visions of paradise everybody's body will be very fragrant but here in Kali Yuga, it smells it stinks everybody's body stinks so there's a big difference between the bodies in satyug and the bodies in kaliyug even in temples they create very beautiful idols so they were here 5000 years back and so they were very beautiful because their soul was very beautiful uh, very pure and thereby the body was also very pure beautiful and healthy uh, Baba through this knowledge transforms us completely from human being into divine angels he plays the part of father teacher and Sadhguru but he doesn't have a father teacher or guru for himself even in granth that's a mention that god washes the dirty clothes but people even after reading that they don't consider themselves to be dirty um, sannyasis cannot give us the knowledge for the pure family they cannot even make us into king of kings they themselves fear and they renounce their homes because they think it is impossible to stay pure while at home but you are more courageous than sannyasis and you say baba we will definitely stay pure because we are no longer husband and wife we have become brother and sister and it's impossible for brother and sister to drink the poison of lust if a girl faces some trouble from her lokic family then she can even get married she can opt for the pure marriage that is Gandharva Veva and it is mentioned in scriptures as well but sannyasis say that women are the gateway to hell because they do not have this knowledge to stay pure uh, and the girls say Baba we have the power to stay pure because we have this sword of knowledge and we will always keep that in between us so we will stay out of the pyre of lust and we will always remain on the pyre of knowledge even christ was christened because of this purity so that is where trouble comes but baba doesn't face trouble only his wrath brahma baba faces this trouble <coughs> Um, while he was walking on the path he was trapped I think he means somebody on the way um, they surrounded Brahma Baba and started giving insult uh, but Brahma doesn't say that he is Krishna. He just says, if I study Raja Yoga, I will become Krishna. But people misinterpreted that and think that he is claiming himself to be the God. He is not Krishna at this time. Baba says, if you pass, you can claim Satyug in returns. If you fail, you will come along with Ram in Treta Yuk. Ram received less than 33% marks. 
which is why he came into Mon dynasty. Uh, this Lakshmi Narayan, after completing Satyuk, they also come to Moon dynasties and hand over the kingdom to Ram and Sita. Baba asks what self-realization is. And Baba says, the cycle of how you become a uh, from deities into these Shudras, those 84 births, remembering that constantly over and over again is called Swadeshna Chakra. And it is by spinning this wheel of self realization that your sins become burnt and Ravan's throat is cut. Uh, children have limitless love for Shiv Baba. There are some daughters who are in such a bondage that they, they are desperate to see a Baba because this one is both mother and father. Everybody remembers Jagadamba but nobody knows the father and mother of Jagadamba, Saraswati and Brahma. So God Shiva is the father and mother of Brahma and Saraswati. Actually Brahma is the big mamma. <coughs> he is even the mamma or mother of Saraswati. But it is not Brahma Baba who gives this knowledge. He didn't learn this knowledge from any guru. If he learned it from any guru then there would be other disciples as well right so you cannot find this knowledge anywhere else so the one that teaches you is the incorporeal father he is the father teacher and guru Brahma, Brahma doesn't create the paradise it is through Brahma God creates this paradise. So it is Brahma who receives this knowledge first. But uh, he keeps Mamma first so that Saraswati's name become more glorious. Baba says, the more you remember me and the inheritance of heaven you will go to heaven but depending on the effort you put into this remembrance accordingly you will get the status either as king or queens or as royal maids or servants of the sun dynasty or as maiden servants of the subjects of both sun and moon dynasty Baba says, the more you immerse yourself in the remembrance of Baba, the more you can stay happy or else you will never feel happiness. Everybody now sits in the cottage of sorrow. So everybody is Sita now. Uh, Baba is placed only with the true heart. If you have any Saitan, Satan or devilishness inside that will keep on causing obstacles both in your self-development and also in this godly service. So then you will be called traitors. So traitors will definitely receive very stern punishment. See people have even caused false accusations against Sri Krishna as he stole clothes of uh, bathing girls and he killed uh, Kants and Jarasans. No, he never did these things. And also they have made Krishna's face very ugly. So you should not 
do such things you should not insult anybody be it the devatas or be it the kaliyuga vasis and now is the night of brahma so obviously brahma should be here and when brahma becomes vishnu that is called the day of brahma and do you know why baba says number wise whenever he gives wishes to his children because baba loves you only when when only when you continue to do service like baba selfless service like baba in vardhan blessing baba says <coughs> be determined in your thought that you will always be charitable through your thoughts words and actions the instant fruit of being charitable is the blessings from every soul that you encounter so they should thank you from the bottom of the heart by your elevated action thoughts and words so the more blessings that you accumulate from others then more is the chance that you receive full price of heaven from god only you are truly the instruments of world transformation so you should be very determined that you should never commit sin either in your thought word or action so whatever you think whatever you say whatever you do it should be charitable you should cause only the happiness not pain to anybody in slogan baba says if you constantly have baba as the only company to you that is when you can be called great so that is the greatest achievement that is when there is only one baba in your world so you establish all relationships with only god only god is your father only god is your mother only god is your uh, children only god is your brother or sister so you establish all relationship only with god then your mind will be so peaceful and blissful and they have included uh, mateshwari ji's murli as well uh, mama says there are people who say souls are part of the supreme soul and mama says it is impossible because on one hand you say god is eternal and imperishable but if you cut supreme soul into pieces as several souls then you are making god as imperishable as well sorry as perishable as well we know that we are children of supreme soul it means we have become his progeny not his part the supreme soul says that i am immortal constantly ignited light and i never extinguish whereas the lights of human souls they ignite and they extinguish but god doesn't extinguish 
he always glows constantly his light neither increases nor decreases but the souls they increase and decrease and god's duty is to ignite all souls and that is why his birthday is being celebrated and that is why he is being worshiped with uh, big shivling and people think that god comes in every yug and that's not true because if he comes in every yug every age then all age should be as powerful as such yug because after the arrival of god he would have made the world as powerful as pure as him but if he had actually come then why are we in this iron age why are we in this degraded age so it proves god doesn't come in all ages he comes only in the end of iron age and he converts it into the golden age so the god's arrival always follows by the conversion of iron age into the golden age so it proves god comes only once in this entire 5000 year time cycle kalpa om shanti thank you baba